love welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you've been here before it's your girl Farida also known as Curly Proverbs and I'm super super excited to have you here and I am also very excited to be sharing with you an update on my hair growth oil if you've been here for a minute you know that I've had I think three hair growth oil recipes I think all of them have gone pretty viral especially the first one that I shared and it's partly to do with the testimonials that people have shared on how well these oils and these recipes have actually worked for them so I've been working on the recipe for about a year and a half now and yeah I thought I would just share it here with you on YouTube and please 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 when you go away and you use it and you get the results that I'm expecting that you're gonna get, please come back and comment below, just sharing your results, just sharing how you get on. So without further ado, let's get into today's video. First, you want to grab you two tablespoons of fenugreek seeds. Now, these actually increase the communication between the hormones that are actually involved in hair growth, and it also increases the circulation to the scalp as well, and it nourishes with lots of minerals. Next, you want to dice or ideally mash up some avocado. One and a half to two avocados would be great for this. The avocados are rich in vitamin B and E and fats and great for nourishing hair. Then grab yourself some carrots, which of course are high in vitamin A. It actually combats hair loss and thickens the hair at the same time. You want to grab three sprigs of rosemary. If you have more, then go ahead, girl. Just sprinkle it like confetti. It is a well-known growth stimulant, and it definitely increases the circulation of blood to the scalp and therefore the nourishment of the scalp. I use rosemary essential oil as well. Henna is optional in this recipe, but I do love it because it does give crazy strength to the follicles and the whole shaft to the hair so I would add it if you have it and then you're going to use olive oil and castor oil as well normally I would go for the dark castor oil because um, that actually has more nutrients in it so all you do now is you add your grated carrot to the pan you shred or you can grate and then you add your avocado I use diced avocado because I stay at the pot stirring and mashing the whole time it's just my way to make sure that things don't burn I know it's like really strange it gives me that little bit of accountability um, all I then do is cover with one cup of extra virgin olive oil and you want to cook this on a low heat in order to make sure that you are minimizing the damage to the uh, the nutrients that are in there although some heating is of course essential in order to make make sure you are releasing the goodness into the oil you can see that as I start to mash and as I start to move around and as everything is cooking in the oil that the color starts to change of the oil then you know the goodness is really getting in there to be honest I have found that the best way to do this is actually to use a slow cooker but I don't have access to my friend's slow cooker at the moment because she's away but Cooking for a length of time in a slow cooker, maybe two hours, really does give amazing results. All that said, 10 to 30 minutes works just fine, uh, but a slow cooker is next level. So next thing you want to do is you want to strain out the, the pulp, the mashed avocado and the carrots away from the oil. And here I've used some um, stockings to do that. And you can see that the color of the oil has definitely changed it's become more opaque as the um, nutrients have diffused in there next I'm going to place actual rosemary into the oil and I am going to add my um, henna and my fenugreek as well super rich in um, nutrients and I have to say that fenugreek is definitely one of my favorite hair growth stimulants I tried to make this just ingredients that you find in your kitchen so I will say that the henna is optional but I do find it very beneficial to include henna if you don't want your hair color to change you may try using cassia um, then I go in and I just stir just to make sure everything is evenly distributed and well coated at the bottom and then I go in with my essential oils essential oils are basically like super 
um, concentrated and powerful oils. They really, really are powerful. And these are some of my favorites for stimulating growth. And also the sweet orange smells amazing. Now I do prefer to use castor oil in a dark bottle as you've seen in my previous tutorials, but I didn't have that today. And um, if you can get castor oil in a dark bottle that is also dark in color, like a black castor oil, like Jamaican black castor oil or Haitian black castor oil, that is like my absolute favorite to use. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna place this into my cupboard, my boiler cupboard for a few days and I'm just gonna allow all the goodness to continue to seep into the oil and as and when I need the oil, I will place into a dropper bottle and apply to my scalp. If you're interested in how to use this oil, I am gonna link my tutorial where I demonstrated both Indian massage and just general application as well that is available as a resource to you. You can use this maybe three times to five times a week depending on how much your hair can tolerate before it's like really limp and um, weighed down. I just wanted to give some bonus tips if you want to increase the potency of this oil. Remember, you can actually change this up and add whatever Ayurvedic herbs you enjoy. Ashwagandha is a great one to add. Neem is a fantastic one to add. I'm going to list some here on the screen. So you can add a tablespoon of some of your favorites. Also, I would suggest using MSM powder. You can actually add maybe a half a teaspoon to the oil and you can also take orally. It works both ways. And if you do both at the same time, it is so amazing for increasing the amount of hair growth that you will get vitamin c you can get the powder of that and take that internally when you apply this oil or when you take your msm and it actually causes the scalp to produce hormones that speed up hair growth it's great for collagen production and i would recommend it as a part of everybody's um daily intake girl your hair will thank you like literally you must come back and let everyone know how this works for you. So I hope you found today's video useful. I hope you have enjoyed the content. Please do give my video a thumbs up. It really does support my channel. It really does help my video out. It lets YouTube know that this content is bomb and that it and it increases the visibility to other people that might find that might find this content to be helpful. So please do give my video a thumbs up. It really, really does support my channel. It really does support my work. And also please do come back and let everyone know how you get on with the oil. Let me know how you get on with the oil. I'm always like super stoked to hear feedback from people um, because for the most part it is extremely positive and the testimonials are glowing. So um, please do come back and let me know. So, so much love. I, I'll see you over on my Instagram. Okay, much love. Take care of yourselves and I will see you in the next video. Also, I should have said I'm going to be doing a giveaway of some Thick and Curly and the Wet Ultimate Detanglers over on my Instagram. All you have to do is head over, tag a friend in the photo that I'm showing you right here, and also reshare to your Instagram stories to be entered, and I will make a selection. I have got four brushes to give away, and yeah, I'm super excited to give back to you guys. So much love. I'll see you over there.